Live from KSBY 6, the Central Coast's number one local news. This is Action News at 11. The issue of medical marijuana is thrust back in the spotlight. Good evening, I'm Sherry Small. Hello, thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Coppola. People on the south, on the central coast are speaking out after a statement from Attorney General Eric Holder. Thirteen states, including California, allow the cultivation, sale, and use of medical marijuana. Federal law does not. During his campaign, President Obama said he would stop the raids on legal medical marijuana dispensaries. And yesterday, the Attorney General hinted that Obama's stance on the issue is now American policy. Action News reporter Danielle Lerner joins us live in studio to show us what people on both sides of the issue are saying. Danielle. Hi there, Tony. Some say it's a step in the right direction for people who depend on medical marijuana, but the Sheriff's Department says the statement doesn't mean anything. They say growing and selling marijuana is illegal, and it's going to stay that way. Going forward, you expect those sorts of raids to continue? No. That simple response has reignited the medical marijuana issue. It's a good thing for, for California. It's a good thing for the other 12 states that have medical marijuana laws. The news is bittersweet for Charles Lynch. In 2007, the DEA raided and eventually shut down his licensed Morro Bay dispensary. Under federal law, he was convicted for distributing drugs and faces a minimum of five years in prison. He calls the closure a loss to the entire community. Having one in, the, in your community, wherever that may be, is a good thing because it helps these people that need relief. There's absolutely no, no new information in this. On the other side, those who say the president's stance on legal dispensaries won't change the way they enforce federal law. The attorney general is talking about legal medical marijuana, not illegal marijuana sales that are masquerading as medical marijuana facilities. Bryn says phony prescriptions and underage patients prompted what happened here. And while Lynch admits one of his employees was arrested for selling the drugs off-site, he says it wasn't on his watch. Two sides, same issue as the cannabis debate continues. And Charles Lynch will be sentenced in a Los Angeles courtroom March 23rd. Once that's done, he says he will appeal his case and ask for a pardon from the president. Reporting live in studio tonight, I'm Danielle Lerner. Tony, back to you. All right, very interesting, Danielle. Thank you. And the DEA raided several dispensaries in Los Angeles earlier this month, despite President Obama's position on that issue.